He never played for Harlem, but former Tiger Ricky Paulding is truly a basketball globe trotter. I spent one year in Israel, two years in France, and the last seven years I've been in Germany. And so uh, I'm very blessed to, to keep playing basketball and I'm having fun doing it. Since his days dunking over defenders inside the Hearn Center, Ricky to the rack for the mess. Paulding has parlayed his skills into a long, successful, and fulfilling international basketball career. It definitely opened my eyes to, to, to see that other countries are love basketball just as much as we do in the United States and been able to play against some, some good guys and uh, see how global the game really is. Perhaps the most fun part of Ricky Paulding's international basketball odyssey is the way he keeps finding fellow former Tigers. Ricky's played all across Europe and seemingly everywhere he goes, he finds black and gold. Let's see, Leo Lyons, Trayvon Bryant, uh, Jimmy McKinney, uh, Marcus Demon, Keith Ramsey. Right when I first came out, I, I played against Clarence Gilbert. So that was, I know it's an old guy, but uh, I, was, I was happy to see him and it was, uh, uh, it was fun. In fact, towards the end of one recent season with his team in Germany, his team in need of another American to finish out the year, Paulding called an old friend and Ricky and Trayvon Bryant suited up as teammates one more time. We had an injury and uh, he was available and so he finished the, the second half of the season off with us and uh, it, it was good to, to hang out with him and for him to see my family and uh, for us to catch up on old times. Even as his basketball career takes him far from home, Paulding remains closely connected to Missouri. He lives in Lee's Summit with his wife and kids in the off season and still has plenty of fond Mizzou memories. Just playing in Hurt Center, uh, that was a great experience. I didn't get a chance to play in Mizzou Arena, but uh, the atmosphere there, the fans, uh, I really had a good group of guys that were with me. And uh, I guess the, the Elite Eight run, that's what most people bring up. And uh, I think that's kind of where, you know, we played some of our best basketball and uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. And fans had a lot of fun watching number 23 as he soared in the Hearn Center and helped Mizzou basketball reach some pretty lofty heights. I'm Ben Arnett for the Mizzou Network. Ricky Paulding.